In my research program, I'm really trying to understand the origins of biodiversity. Why does life look the way that it does? Why are so many different forms um, uh, evolving all the time? And how has that changed through the past and how will it change into the future? So I'm really trying to understand the different factors that shape the diversity of life on this planet. With this project, we're launching into a completely new field for me, and that's looking at insects. Now, insects are an incredibly diverse group. They're, they basically form half of the known species on this planet. There's over a million named insects. And some people think there could be 10 times that many that we haven't discovered yet. So we can go from the thousands of species that we might be looking at for looking at mammals, now we're dealing with millions. And so the same tools that we use when we look at mammals, things like CT scanning and surface scanning, really need to be scaled up to a whole different level when you want to tackle insects. And that's where the partnership with Diamond really comes in. I personally went a couple of years ago to the National History Museum and I was quite impressed about the large scientific department they have got there. They have over 400 scientists working. And of course, they have also a department working in microtomography. This department does work only with lab-based sources and they are quite limited in the capabilities and that's how it started to collaborate with them because here we can measure much more samples, we can measure them in much finer study and we can study also samples which are very difficult to image because they're, they're so fine you can't see them normally with x-rays. And this collaboration continued now with the study on insects and with the development of this robot arm system, which allows us now to measure this huge number of samples. So far, we have sent 100 specimens to Diamond to test out the new robot arm system, and it's worked really well. And so, going forward over the next few years, we're going to be trying to build a data set of between five to 10,000 insect specimens. And that will give us a great baseline data set for looking at insect diversity. Now, ultimately, as this project progresses, as this technology develops further, we hope we'll be able to capture into the millions of specimens. Here at the museum, we have over 27 million specimens of insects, and so I hope one day, it may take decades, but I hope one day we'll actually have this kind of data for all of them. So Diamond is a world leader in imaging, and in particular, it has a number of beamworms that are dedicated to imaging and e-microscopy. And importantly for us, the I-13 beamline has a property called coherence. And what we can do with coherent light is image not just the hard tissues, but actually even soft tissues like muscles. So that gives you a much, much better picture of an organism from its hard structures to all of the various soft tissues that actually make those different structures move around. And so with this kind of incredible resolution, we can learn a lot more about the biology of organisms. And it also allows us to look at really small scale organisms that you can't do with things like a medical CT scanner or even a micro CT scanner. Yeah, our beamline is quite unique in the world. There are very few places you can do this kind of measurements. And with the robot we can do now, and that's the big advantage, we can do this now with a large number of samples. This is where we actually do the experiments. So we have the samples already loaded as well as the robot. So the robot is actually the one which takes out the sample and mounts it onto the sample position. And uh, this is actually the, the new thing that we have. So this can do a samples really, really quickly. So uh, you can go like say 100 samples per in say six, seven hours. So this is, this is really, really a good addition for our uh, beamline. That's a complete breakthrough. That's completely new. And of course we can measure also then large amounts of samples like this is the case for the insects. The robot actually picks the samples and then mounts it onto the rotation stage and that rotation stage actually rotates the sample in, in 0 to 180 degrees uh, and then the, this is actually the, what is called tomography, a single scan. The spatial resolutions that we are looking at here in microns, even submicrons level and the sample sizes are say like typically two, three millimeters. So they are really small. So these are the insect samples. They are range of insects. Uh, like say we have beetle and uh, there are diff different type of insects. As you can see, they are really, really tiny. So it is like two millimeters. 
This is also a great opportunity for us to build a close collaboration with one of the museum's key partners and a facility that will be a close neighbor once we open our new Science and Digitization Center at Harwell in 2026. Now, the goal of that center is to bring together the amazing new technologies of places like Diamond with our scientific expertise in terms of the natural world and our amazing collections. And this project is a really great example of what you can do when you bring those different things together. Looking forward, we hope that by bringing together these technologies with the collections and the scientific expertise of the Natural History Museum staff, we'll be able to better tackle some of the major challenges facing the planet from biodiversity loss to climate change. Thank you.